Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and uh, Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading for July 15th to July 21st, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and uh, we can jump straight away uh, into the reading. Alright, so the first card which represents the topic for Virgo week, that is going to be the Tree of Pentacles, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that Virgo needs to overcome for throughout the week, this is going to be the Nine of Swords. Third card that we do have for you guys, that will be the positive aspect of the week and we do have the Seven of Wands here. And then the last card which stands for the guidance that you should... Um, follow rather like what uh, Taro has as a, a sensitive information information excuse me to divulge to you that will be the two of cups all right so once again let's go through the cards we do have the three of pentacles which is the topic followed by the nine of swords which stands for the challenges afterwards that will be the seven of wands which is the positive aspect and then the last one here, it is the Two of Cups, which represents the guidance that Tsaro is offering to you, Virgo. All right, so uh, the week, for what it seems, is going to be all about a uh, uniting forces with someone, a, a cooperation, should they say it that way. <clears throat> Most likely on the career front or a, um, how can I place it, a material development. It is that you are going to undergo for throughout this week, July 15th to July 21st. Uh, I'm sorry about my voice, guys. I'm not feeling very well. Probably I have a cold or something like this. And uh, it's just probably right now I do have a temperature as I'm recording this one because I'm feeling very, very fuzzy. Yeah. All right. So um, let's go to the first card here. So it is the Tree of Pentacles. And the Tree of Pentacles, it's like I said about cooperation and it is about support through one's development. All right. So your uh, your goal, which needs to be developed, is going to be supported or you are going to be supported through developing this particular goal. Now, the Tree of Pentacles is associated as well with criticism. I mean that there are to be people who are going to probably monitorize you, not monetize, but monitorize you. It's like monitoring that they are going to exert. Um, let's say um, observing every step that you're doing and they are going to finger point you what you're doing wrong, what you should do so you can do it right, you know, and in generally how you should approach that current situation. We may talk about a, a mentor apprentice, type of uh, type of relationship you know and an advisor and the one who seeks advice as well and etc etc now the thing is that with the tree of pentacles you can build up a a very big foundation which is doesn't necessarily have to be uh constructed around a specific thing but a foundation which furthermore 
into the future is going to give you an, an opportunity, a, a oceans of op uh, an ocean of opportunities. So that could be as you how you are building up a um, how can I say it? a safety switch or a a, a back door. So once a either your marriage, you know, or your relationship or something there um, goes south, you have a, a contingency plan. The accompanied card here is going to be the tower and the formation. The formation, it is a, a passive neutrals that we do have. So with this navigation that you are going to uh, obtain throughout the week from these people through fruitful conversations, you know, through a, a cooperation or a criticism is going to allow you to avoid a, not a, um, a disaster, as the tower suggests, as it is a neutral card, but more like a, 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 a hard toil or rather like a, a severe hardship in a sense of the probably you know you are to find a way how to uh, achieve your goal much easier than the anticipated uh, performance and approach up until uh, this very moment so to me it looks like is that you are going to teach from the uh, to learn excuse me from the source from the very very first hand now what is going to be however the um the problem or rather like the challenge and this is going to be the nine of swords so the nine of swords here as a follow-up shows up how serious the situation is going to be and serious not in a bad way but how much responsibility it is required from you to exert in there i mean you cannot just go in a carefree spirit but rather you need to be extremely focused upon the task at hand and realize as well that every move you do and every decision you make is going to have its appropriate circumstances and consequences moreover afterwards and that may petrify you in a certain way because you may not be ready you know to face such a, a severe consequences from your doing and that's why it will be of, of most importance to rely on this support that you are going to um, have either friends of yours you know it could be as well your wife or your husband it could be your family as well and etc etc the accompanied card here is going to be the uh, six of cups formation it is a active neutrals that we do have <clears throat> So uh, additionally to that, the challenge is going to be to find the pleasure out of it. What I mean is that all these circumstances are, or kind of like a consequences are going to be distasteful, right? They're going to seem like unnecessary plights for you that you have to endure uh, along the way, which could make the uh the guidance that you are to receive from this support through your development less as uh, to seem less appealing to you okay so you may have a a second thought to seek for a second opinion for example and to think of that there could be a better way but the thing with the tree of uh, pentacles and especially next to the tower everything that you are guided toward it does look like that it is for your greater good all right at least here and yeah for for some extreme cases you may be the one who is avoiding rather disaster now <clears throat> the positive aspect of the week for you uh virgo is going to be the seven of wands and uh, this card takes place only if you overcome the um the challenges okay so you take full responsibility of your actions or you are accountable towards your actions and yet you make those actions because in this case not making an action also bear its consequences and, and also uh, calls for a, a responsibility. So once you overcome this petrification that you may find yourself at, seven of uh, wants points that you will be very accurate with scoping the right moment of actions. I mean, you you once you have your plan made, you know, and your strategy uh, created, then you will have that readiness to make to make an action in the right moment. Okay, and at the right place as well. Additionally to that, with the Seven of Wands, it does look like that you are not going to uh, budge on a um, 
I would say test of uh, test of universe, like a, a temptation that goes outworthy or a, a self doubt that goes inworthy. The accompanied card is another seven here, so we do have double sevens, and seven is the sp is a spiritual number, is a number uh, with uh, associated with the higher calling, is associated as well with intuition, and is associated also with a wisdom, right? So a yeah, great amount of wisdom, it is what is going to benefit you here throughout the week, recognizing that at the end of the day, with these cup of sevens, you have to scope the moment where you end up victorious because this is what these couple of sevens are saying here all right um, regardless of what kind of a uh, situation you are finding yourself at you may be seeking for a moment where you are to withstand a, a severe competition at your career maybe this is the moment where you are you will want to do something good for yourself as well remember with these couple of sevens is all about yourself uh, you will have the uh, opportunity to storm your situations and to get what you deserve as well in a sense of payment, for example, appreciation, treatment, and etc. etc. But all comes to that to follow the uh, the criticism, constructive criticism, excuse me, advice, and as well uh, a help offered through uh, a support, excuse me, offered through your development. And finally, what we have. It is the uh, Two of Cups, which is the Guidance card. And the Two of Cups in this follow-up does uh, represent partnership. Really, it is. I mean, it does represent how two people are forming here in an, an, an a alliance, where they're touching each other, and out of it, something third comes up here. Therefore, um, really, the card asks you to take the hand, which is given to you here as you can see in this picture i mean these people were touching their hands one made you know one extended their hand the other one is taking it so it's it's really this is what is required here as a guidance for you to uh try to look out outside of your box and uh, take at least under consideration whatever wisdom whatever guidance or whatever criticism you know these people which wants to help you through your development either career-wise or relationship-wise, are offering to you. And you're going to make progress. And the accompanied card here, it is the Five of Pentacles. So guidance-wise, these cards are pointing is that the only thing that you need to overcome your problems here, it is help from someone, all right? It's just someone to, to tackle with them with you. Because we do have two people in the main card that are holding their hands, you know, and simply they are facing whatever it is together. And on the on the lower card, on the catalyst, we do have two people um, trying to find shelter in the winter. So you don't have to face your plights alone. As a matter of fact, throughout this week, you're going to find, or excuse me, the necessary support you require is going to find you. You may not gonna like how the necessary support stands, or right? you are gonna be criticized, but that doesn't make it untrue. And so it all comes to that, you know, how open-minded you are to receive constructive criticism, to learn from it, and to do, um, you know, whatever what it takes to take advantage of this constructive criticism, or to apply it in your uh, in your environment. So that being said, Virgo, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for July 15th to July 21st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.